I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be grabbing our favorite choice art making mediums to draw this lovely jack o' lantern, perfect for Halloween. So, grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> and I have come up with a teacher challenge where I challenge you to create art with kids and through this I'm going to teach you how to create this art project and I'm going to give you all the art teacher resources to accompany this art lesson including the lesson plans, the assessment rubric and all the student handouts. Um, so make sure that you click the link in this video description and join me for this free tutorial. It is a three part challenge where I'm going to teach you how to teach art to kids. So come and join me, it's a free, free video art lesson and you already have these art mediums in your house, so don't even worry. We're going to be learning how to create this gecko art lesson that explores using line in your background. So grab your art making mediums, click the link and let's make some art. All right, let's begin our jack-o'-lantern. First, we're gonna start off with the stem at the top. So we're gonna draw a nice, big oval and you can stick it on its on a little angle there nice little oval dot in the middle take that dot and make it a spiral two curving lines down curve it at the bottom so we're going to add a nice big arch here for the curving texture on the pumpkin. Now we're not gonna bring these lines all the way down initially because it's a jack-o'-lantern, we need to leave space for other details like carving the face. We're gonna add two curves on either side. And then just one big curve, so like a letter C and an opposite one on the other side. Now we're going to imagine that below we have the opposing little curve here at the bottom. Curve again, and on the other side, and connect all your lines. We have some lovely jack-o'-lantern texture there. Okay, let's add a face. So we're gonna start off with some classic triangular eyes, spreading them far apart. Between the eyes, just a little, a little bit above. We're gonna put one straight line. Okay, a little U shape. So cute. Okay, back up to the eyes. One diagonal, two diagonal. That's gonna be for the carved out part. Okay. Add your teeth on your pumpkin. Add a little curved line along here so that way we can see the inside carving parts of the jack-o'-lantern there. All right, let's add some spookiness. So maybe we'll add a little stitch down here. That's spooky. What else could we add? We could add a spider web, so we can add some diagonal lines coming out from one point, and then you can connect them with curving lines to make a super spooky spider web. We can add just some curving dash lines to indicate the continuation of texture on that pumpkin now. Add some spooky texture on your stem. And some other spooky bits as well. And once you're done, you can go around the outside real quick, picking up those lines and make them bold and beautiful. And 
once you're done thickening up your lines, go ahead and color in your pumpkin. When you get to the face, we're gonna color in the dark curly eyes, leaving that line. Color in the dark of the mouth, leaving the teeth and that curving line at the bottom. For our final detail, grab a nice yellow. We're gonna color in these glowing lines. Perfect, and once you're done, your lovely Jack Lantern drawing is done. I'm Ms. Arcassi, and I just wanna say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video, and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video. If you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now and let's make some art.